If you play Fortnite on a low-end PC, well, here are 10 tips you can try to boost your FPS in Fortnite. This video is targeted for low-end PCs, but you can also try these on higher-end systems. I'll be showing these tips that I used to boost my FPS when I was on my old PC. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel as I'm on my way to 2,000 subscribers. Tip number one, Epic Games Launch Options. I'll show the best Epic Games Launcher options so far. First, open the Epic Games Launcher. Go to your library, press the three dots next to Fortnite, and click Options. Now, these are launch options in Fortnite that you can choose to have installed. Uncheck Also Save the World if you don't play it. Uncheck High Resolution Texture since these are completely useless and we're trying to boost FPS. And uncheck DirectX 12 shaders if you use Performance Mode. Lastly, we have Pre Download Stream Assets. Enable this option because what this does is it downloads all skins, pickaxes, and other cosmetics and saves them to your PC. This setting is a must to be enabled to prevent those FPS drops and ping fluctuations. So those right there are the best launch options. Tip number two, best power plan. Next up is changing your power plan. So press the Windows key and type edit power plan. When this Windows opens up, click on change advanced power settings. This will pop up and by default it will be unbalanced, but you should set this to high performance. In this drop down, choose high performance. This uses more of your PC power and results in a boost in your FPS. Click apply and OK. Tip number three, optimize Windows settings. Press the Windows key and search for settings. Once you're here, go all the way down to gaming, then over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar consumes a lot of memory in the background and disabling it will help you increase your performance. But the thing is that it is not fully disabled. So at the end of this video, I'll show you how to completely disable it. Moving on, go back to the gaming section and enable game mode. Right beneath that, you'll find graphics. Simply go over to this, click on change default graphics settings and enable both hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for Windows games. Both of them will help you to reduce your input latency as well as increase the performance of your games. After that, go back to graphics and right over here, click on the browse button and find your Fortnite game files. It will be in your program files, then Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64. Select the Win64 shipping.exe file, click on it, and then click on save and it's already added to my list. Go find Fortnite, click on it, and then click on options and make sure that it's set to high performance. Save it. This will make it so that it completely uses your GPU, maximizing the performance of both your CPU and graphics cards. Tip number four, close background apps. Just go down to the bottom right-hand side of our taskbar and click on our task icon tray. And in here, all the active apps on your PC. Go ahead and close out any apps you don't need open while playing Fortnite by right-clicking on these applications and you don't need running and exit out of them. This will boost your FPS and free up system resources. Tip number five, using a stretch resolution. You should try using a stretch res because by now you should know that what are the benefits like a boost in FPS and having a stretch FOV. Choosing the right resolution can be a bit tricky. At the lowest end of stretch resolutions, you have options like 800x600, 1024x768, and 1280x768 for low-end PCs, which although may look quite pixelated and less visually appealing, you can make the game run very smoothly. This is because they are less demanding on your system and can provide a slight FPS boost. Tip number six, delete temp files. Now I've covered this plenty of times, but I'll go over it very quickly. First, press Windows key and R. In the run box, type in percent temp percent. Once this folder opens up, all you're gonna do here is press Ctrl plus A to select all files and then press delete. This will delete all these files. Some of these items might not be deleted because you might have an application open that's using them. If this happens, click do this for all current items and skip those files. Now that you've cleared a temp folder, hold Windows and R again and type prefetch. This should open up another temporary folder. Do the same thing, hit Ctrl and press A to select all of the files and click delete. Now these files are safe to delete, they're just temporary files that your PC doesn't need anymore. If you haven't done this before, they might have piled up quite a lot and deleting them will save you a lot of space. Tip number seven, disable startup apps. You can do that by heading into the settings, then on the left side, go into apps and click on the startup section. This will be the list of all the applications that open up when you boot your PC, which with them being on can cause Windows to take longer to load up and even performance in general can be affected by these applications. So that what we're going to do is disable each app that you don't need right when you turn on your PC. So Spotify, I don't need it, so I'll disable that and do the same for the rest of your apps. Tip number eight, disable HPET. Disabling HPET in Windows to reduce latency and increase FPS. So click on the Windows key and type in Device Manager. Select Device Manager. Inside, take yourself down to the S section 
and we're going to be looking for system devices. Inside of system devices, you want to find the high precision event timer. Right click on this option and disable this device. Tip number nine, Fortnite settings tip. Open up Fortnite and head over to the third tab and scroll all the way until you see the replay setting and turn them all off because you're recording gameplay and using a lot of your resources so you can turn them off. Now below that are energy saving settings. Try turning them off since they save your PC's power. And lastly, tip number 10, disable Xbox Game Bar. Before the video ends, I'll show you how to disable the Xbox Game Bar completely. Remember, near the beginning of the video, I told you that the Xbox Game Bar is not totally fully disabled. So here's the tip on how to do it. If you want to get rid of it, run Windows PowerShell as an administrator and then copy and paste the text from the description to permanently remove the Xbox Game Bar. Now, if you're someone who uses the Xbox Game Bar to record clips for your games, please consider switching to OBS. It takes way fewer resources and won't drop your FPS a lot. Now those are the top tips to boost FPS in Fortnite Season 4 for low-end PCs. If this video helped you, please leave a like and subscribe.